With this assignment, we will have acquired a better understanding of our SMT protocol. We're also going to gain experience by implementing a standard protocol using Python. Our task is to develop a simple mail client, and it sends an email to the recipient. Our client will need to connect to a mail server, that's going to be us. Dialogue with the mail server using the SMT protocol and send an email message to the mail server. Python provides a module called SMT lib, SMT lib, which has built-in methods to send mail using SMTP protocol. However, we're not going to be using this module because it hides the details of SMTP and our socket programming. In order to limit spam, some mail servers do not accept TCP connections from arbitrary sources. And for the experiment described below, we may want to try connecting to our university mail server and also to a popular web server. Uh, we're going to be using Google here. Below we have our skeleton code. It's going to look like this. I just copied and pasted it in here. Uh, we have a lot of comments that you're actually going to need to fill out and things that we're going to have to edit in. So first we have from socket import. That's importing the socket. Um, and then we're going to have to prompt our user for some things before we do any of this. So we're going to write add in prompt and then here we are going to do um, some prompts so we're going to just type in the following user email user password user email destination email um, and then our user subject user body so we're making a variable here and then we have equals input and so we're printing this out and then we're going to take the user input to whatever that is and then we have this message right here we're going to choose our mail server. It can be whatever we want it to be. We're going to set our mail server equal to. And here, we're just going to use the Google one. So we're going to do single quotes. And we are going to have smtp.gmail.com. That's our mail server. We also want to do our mail port. So we're going to have this here. And we're going to set it equal to a 587. And so that's going to be it for this part. Next, we're going to scroll down. We want to create a socket called client socket and establish a TCP connection with the mail server. So to do this, we are going to create our client socket like this. So it's going to be equal to, and we're going to make an instance of our socket where we have our AF underscore I N net, and then comma, we have our sock underscore, and then we have our stream. And we can end this with a parenthesis. After this, we are going to want to make our connection. After this, uh, we're going to want to make our connection. So we're going to do client socket, and we're going to do dot connect. And then we're going to have our parentheses inside of here, where we have our mail server, a comma, and then a mail port. And so that's it for this part. Um, next, after this, we want to fill in the start. This should be inside of the fill in start and fill in end. So we're going to go right here and do this. Now this code was given to us. We have receive, we have print, we have this if statement, and I believe this should be indented. That way it's inside of our if statement. If it's not indented because of how Python works with spacing, it won't read it correctly. We have our hello command right here in another if statement where we want to make sure that this is inside of our if statement once again, otherwise it's going to give us that error. Now we're going to want to send mail from command and print the server response. So instead of here, we will do mail from, and this is just variable, and we're gonna set it equal to, we have quotes here, mail from, and then we have this. We are going to have two arrows, and then inside of our arrows, we have these brackets. We're gonna have slash r, and then slash n for a new line. And then we are going to do dot format, and then we are going to have the user destination email. And if we are, if we go back up to where we have this message right here, where we have the I love computer networks, we have our single quote, we have our braces, we're gonna do a period, um, and then we can actually get rid of these double quotes. And we're gonna add another single quote here, and we'll do dot format, and then we're gonna have our user body. So that is for the message up here on line 11. We can go back down to what we we're working on, line 36. Now we're going to have to use a SSL client socket.send, which we're going to have to create before any of this and after this if statement. So right here, we're going to be working with account authentication. We're going to make a variable strtls cmd, and we're going to set it equal to, and then we're going to have quotes here, start tls, and then we're going to have our dash r, 
or dash n, and then we're going to do dot encode where we have these parentheses. So that'll be encoded. And then we're gonna have our client socket send something. So we're gonna do client socket dot send. And then in parentheses, we are going to send the strt ls command. We have a receive to, and this is equal to client socket, where we have the dot receive, and then we have 1024. We're gonna have another variable, SSL client socket, and we're gonna set it equal to our SSL dot, and then we have a wrap underscore socket, where you the client socket. Now we're going to get the email and the password after it's encoded. So I'm gonna make an email A, and then we're gonna set it equal to B64, where we have our encode. And then in this, we're gonna pass in the user email, and we're gonna do dot encode. And then after this, we're gonna do the same thing, but for the password, so we'll do email P, and then we're going to do instead of user email, we'll do user password dot encode. And we have this SS4, SSL, but it's not um, being read right there. What we need to do is come up here, and we are going to do a from a SS, and we are going to import our SSL. Now, what we also need to do is for the B64, because that wasn't working right either, we're going to do from base 64, and then we're going to do import with a asterisk, so that way we import all. Once that's done, we can come down and we can see that our errors are no longer errors. We're gonna have an authorization command, so we'll do authorization, I'll do CMD, and we're gonna set equal to an authentication login, where we do our dash R, dash N. After this, we're gonna have our SSL, and then a client socket dot send. And then inside of our sending, we're gonna have the authorization command, and we're gonna do dot encode. And we have parentheses here. And then after this, we're gonna do the receive to, and we're going to set it equal to SSL client socket dot receive, where we have our 1024. And then we're going to print our receive to. We then have our SSL client socket dot send, where we are going to send the email address. So we do email, and I'm just gonna have a plus, and then we have our parentheses where we do slash r slash n, and then we have our dot encode with our parentheses. Now, after this, we are going to, instead of receive two, we are going to do receive three, and we're gonna set equal to our SSL client socket dot receive, and it's going to be 1024 also. And we can copy this, we're gonna to have to do the same thing for the password, so we'll just paste it down here. Um, and all of this, this should be a little bit more organized because right now it's a little bit messy, but we're just going through it right now. So we have our receive. We're going to have to change this from receive three to receive four. Um, and then we're going to change this email A to email P. The rest of this is going to stay the same. And then our SSL client socket.receive is going to stay the same. After these are implemented, we should print them. So we're going to do a print and then we're going to have our receive three inside of here. And then we are going to do a print where we have our receive four inside of here. Now we can go back down here for where we're looking at our client socket SSL. So we're gonna do SSL and then we have our client socket. We're gonna do a dot send. And then inside of here, we're gonna do our mail from. We're gonna do our dot encode. We can do our parentheses here. And then we're gonna have our receive five and it's equal to our SSL client socket dot receive. And then we're gonna have our 10 24 inside of here. And then after this, we're just gonna want to print. So we're just going to print receive, and then we have our five right here. After this, we're gonna send our RCPT2 command and print the server response. So we'll do RCPT2, and this is a variable. We're gonna make it equal to our RCPT2 inside of here. We are going to have our arrows, and then we are gonna have our brace, another brace, the ending brace, and then arrow where we have our slash r, slash n that follows it. Uh, then we have our dot format. And then inside of here, we have our user destination email that it's going to. We're going to have our SSL client socket dot send, and we are going to send the RCT, RCP TTO dot encode. And then we have our parentheses for this. Then we're gonna have our receive 
and the next one which is six equal to our SSL client socket dot receive then we have our 1024 passed in here and then we're just going to want to print our receive six so that's sending the RCPT to command and next we're going to send the data command and print the server response so we're going to have our variable data be equal to a single quote data where we have our slash r slash n and then after this we're going to do the SSL client socket we're going to do dot send so we can send the data dot encode after this we're going to have parentheses close this and then we are going to have our receive the next one which is seven be equal to our SSL client socket dot receive where we pass in our 10 24 again we close this with the parenthesis and then we are going to print our receive seven and that's it for that part now we're going to fill in the start that should however go inside of the fill in start part and i also believe that should go for this one as well where we take this and we put it into the fill in the start now we're going to send our message data we'll make sure we're fill in the start this time so we're going to call our SSL client socket again. We're going to do dot send where we have our parentheses inside of here. And then we have our subject. We have our colon. And then inside of here, we have braces. We're going to do a slash n slash n and braces again. Um, and then we're going to do a dot format to so format this. And we're formatting it based on the user subject. And then we're going to have a comma, our message. And then after this, we can close the parentheses. We're going to do a dot encode with parentheses like this. Now we have our message ends with a single period. So then we're going to do SSL client socket again. We're going to do dot send, where we have our end message dot encode. And then we have our parentheses. We are next going to look at our receive eight, because that is the next one, because we've received seven and all those before. So we'll do SSL client socket dot receive and there we have our 1024 inside of here. And then we are going to print our receive eight. So I'll just copy this and print this here and then just change our receive seven to receive eight. Now we're gonna to want to quit our command and get the server response. So we'll make our variable quit. I'll do CMD again, and we're gonna set it equal to, we have our single quotes. We're gonna do quit, where we have our slash r slash n. And then after this, we're gonna use our SSL client socket. And the SSL client socket was made in here and the SSL client socket was made up here where we have our th account authentication set equal to our SSL dot wrap socket. And then we are having our client socket be inside of there. And our client socket is this part right here where we're gonna connect and we have our socket. So from here, after that refresher, we have dot send and then we are going to do the quit command. So we'll do quit CMD and that's going to quit. We'll have dot encode parentheses now we are going to take our receive, the next one, which is nine, and we're going to set equal to our SSL client socket. And we're gonna do dot receive, where we have our 1024 again. And then we are just going to print out our receive nine. So we'll come down here, print receive nine. After this, we're gonna do our SSL client socket. We're going to have a dot close to end it, parentheses, and we're just going to lastly print success. Now from here, we are going to open our command prompt. We're going to change the directory to the directory that the actual um, program is in. So I'll do CD, change it here. We're going to, if we want to check it, we can do DIR. We can see that we have our email.py. So I'm going to do Python email.py to run it. It's going to ask to enter the email address. So I have this burner account where we're doing a testing temp zero. I have the password which we're going to type in and then we'll enter the email destination. We'll just make it the same as the email address. Subject is going to be test and then the message is going to be we are testing. We press enter and it goes through all of this but it says it's successful. Now I wasn't able to get it to send to the other email address, uh, not the other one but the same one that uh, we wrote it in, the testing temp zero. Uh, I didn't get it to send that message, but I sent it to a different email address, and so I used the testing one. I sent it to a different email, um, I just redid the thing, and we can see that we have our testing here. 
And then of course our period part where it's down here. Uh, before the quit, it says message ends with a single period. That's what the period comes from because I didn't type a period in here for the message. We can see the subject is test and we can see that it says I love computer networks, meaning that we love computer networks. And that was auto-generated for us earlier in our Python script. So again, I don't know why it went to, it didn't work for the other email. Uh, make sure that the email from your, you're sending it from, like my testing the temp zero, um, I'm not sure if this is 100% necessary, but you need to go into your Google account settings and make sure less secure app access is turned on. Otherwise, I don't think it will work. And that is it for sending and testing the temp zero. And that's it for testing this program. Uh, we can see that it works, even though we got some weird errors from it uh, right here. We got the 220 reply not received and the 250 not received, but it looks like it was still successful.